What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and just like so many of these other franchises that have been absolutely demolished and destroyed and bastardized by these companies in modern day, it looks like the fans have a far better idea of what Amazon should be doing with Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power series. And time after time, this is the case. It doesn't matter if you're talking about Disney, Star Wars, or now Lord of the Rings with Amazon. It seems like the fans all too often have a much better understanding understanding and respect and appreciation for the lore than the people who are actually paid to work on these things. And we have seen the backlash. It is still going strong. It's not going to stop anytime soon. You look at this trailer. This is the UK trailer. 53,000 dislikes to 23,000 ups. The main trailer, 140k dislikes to just over 100,000 likes. The, it's just growing. Like the ratio is going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm interested to see if they ever just turn off dislikes completely. I wouldn't be surprised if they did because everything in every language nearly that they put it out in gets ratioed and gets destroyed because Lord of the Rings fans are passionate. And one thing that they're passionate about is how the characters look, even dwarf characters like this. Now we've talked about the diversity and representation a lot, and obviously that comes into play with this character. But something else that comes into play is the lack of something, and that's the beard. We've talked about this a little bit, but now fans are making even more of a press and showing that you can do it right, that you can do this the right way. And in fact, Peter Jackson has already done it the right way, but Amazon refuses to do so. Take a look at this article. Fans fix Amazon's Lord of the Rings adds beard to controversial female dwarf. Uh, they did indeed fix it, at least in a way. Amazon's Lord of the Rings Rings of Power series just blew up the internet with exclusive photos of a female dwarf queen with no beard. After a flurry of controversy, some fans have fixed the issue, receiving praise from many. And uh, I can show it if you guys want to see it. Do you want to see it? Should we show you? There it is. This is the fixed version right here. This is the fixed version of Disa. And listen, I'm still not necessarily a fan of the way it looks, but at least they did add a beard. I think in this, in the thumbnail, I might add a different kind of beard, but, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens going forward. But fans, as they usually do, come out and they fix things for these companies and say, you know what? You couldn't do it right. We're going to show you how it's really done, which is kind of embarrassing when you factor in the over $1 billion that is already locked up in Amazon's Lord of the Rings series. Uh, but let's continue on because there's something interesting that we're going to show. We're going to show how the fans realize that you can do this the right way and that Peter Jackson realized you can do this the right way. Someone writes on Twitter, I find the lack of facial hair disturbing. Female dwarves have beards from Johnny Stray Cat. And we know that Amazon tried to do damage control for this, right? IGN came out and uh, they had they had a Lord of the Rings expert, the Tolkien professor on there, who, who I do know a lot of people know who this is. A lot of people are very aware. A lot of people got very upset that he got some backlash because when you look at that, 2.3 up to 8.9 thousand down votes. He got destroyed because they brought him on as the Tolkien professor and he got a bunch of stuff wrong. So wrong, in fact, that he had to go later clarify it on Twitter, where he said this, again, Tolkien professor right here, a clarification on dwarf women. Tolkien says they look just like dwarf men. He also clarifies later concerning beards that all male dwarves had them. Tolkien, late in life, explicitly did not imagine dwarf women as bearded. So just to clarify what, what he's saying here, what he's trying to tell you about Tolkien, how he's trying to spin it, is that in The War of the Jewels, he explicitly says this quote right here, both male and female dwarves have beards. He says that. He lays it out. Then in a later letter responding to someone about beards, he says male dwarves have them. He doesn't mention female dwarves. So the absence of that in this letter is enough proof for the Tolkien professor to say that they don't have beards because that's what these people are trying to do right now. They're trying to grasp onto anything and everything. And then when confronted with that fact, what does he say? I know, but clinging is just what people are doing and doing so where Tolkien explicitly did not. My question is why? Why does this matter so much to people? This is a dude named Tolkien Professor. Tolkien Professor, Corey Olson, is saying, 
Why does it matter so much to people? Wow, you really missed the mark on that one, didn't you? But let's continue on where people point out what Peter Jackson did right. What is this, a beardless dwarf and a short-haired elf? No, sir, all dwarves, male and female, have beards. And we do know, probably the thing that makes it most famous is that Peter Jackson took that stuff and made it, used it as a joke, you know, with Gimli in Lord of the Rings. We saw that, everyone has seen those movies, everyone knows that, which is probably one of the reasons why so many, even normies, understand that even if they haven't read the exact quote from the books. It's true, you don't often see many dwarf women. In fact, they're so alike in voice and appearance that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. These established ideas of a dwarf female mentioned on screen support the opinion of many Lord of the Rings fans that every female dwarf in the world of Tolkien should sport a beard. But any fictional work is open to interpretation. We do have some other fictional dwarves here. And in fact, the Hobbit series, which isn't maybe the best example. I don't know if people really like that very much. But in this series, what did we get? We saw female dwarves. We saw female dwarves with beards. And fans were very quick to point this out, that it has already been done. They gave you the template. They showed you all of this. There's concept art that I've seen floating around. I don't think we got to see all of these different female dwarves, but these were the female dwarf concept art they were using before they settled on one of this. This is just one of the things we saw in the Hobbit trilogy. Once again, fans are showing that they are far more qualified to talk about this and respect this than Amazon is. And again, another shout out to Disparu for proving that this is all garbage, for proving that Amazon is just absolutely doing whatever they can to try to spin this. They're bringing these fake fans out there, having them do fake reactions, the same exact thing all the way through these little reaction series. It's disgusting that they've stooped to these levels, but that's where it's at for Amazon. That's where it needs to be at because they realize that they are in hot water right now. Tolkien fans aren't going to forgive this stuff. Tolkien fans are not gonna let up. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.